How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. Uh, we're going to be doing a video on some pallet pry bars today. I have a video on each one of these pry bars. I made all three of these. They're all made out of scrap metal. I didn't have to buy any of this metal. Everything was free. We're going to try to demonstrate these uh, three pry bars, see which one is the best uh, pry bar and the easiest to make. So let's get this video going. Now, out of these three pry bars, this is the very first one I ever made. And we're going to try it out first. So we're going to set these guys off to the side. We'll set this one over here and this one over here. Now, we got our first pallet here. Let's try this on this one. Well, we can see clearly it's not going to fit down in there. Now, so let's just try. It's not going all the way down in, but let's see what happens. It's a little tight. So it's not going to fit down in there. So we're going to come back. Let's go back to this one here. Now this one here has big gaps in it. So let's see how it works on this one. No problem. Big gaps. Two before. Now some of these pallets I've seen were... The board, it wasn't a 2 before. it was a big wide one. So obviously this one's not going to get down in that big wide space. But it works great on these ones here. So it works good, but the gaps have to be big to get it down in there because you're putting this big wide piece down in there. So it has to be a wide gap. So that's number one. Now let's go to number two. This is the second one I built. It's basically got the same width of this one, that first one, number two or number one. And it's not going to go down in these either. It's probably going to mess up the sides of the boards too. So let's, let's take it over to the other one. This is the pallet that has the big gaps in it, which I can slide right down in there works really good. This one feels a lot lighter in the hand too. So it does work. But then again, we have to have wider gaps because of the the size of this. The size of this here makes it harder to get in the gap. So that's pallet pry bar number 2. Now let's go to number three. This is the one I told a lot of people I was going to be making this. Because they said, hey, uh, mine has, most of my pallets are real tight. The spaces in here are real tight. So I thought, what the heck, I'll take a piece of one inch or half inch stock and we'll weld a rebar on here. Now each one of these, I'll have a picture of it in the link to where you can watch it being built. But this one here, this thing is really can go in just about any crack. And let's see, let's try this over here. No problem at all getting in that tight crack. This one's, it's tight, but it's pulling the board right off, no problem at all. So this one here, let's see, let's take it to the wider gap boards. Not a problem, guaranteed. Look at that. This is a pry ball. So far in functioning, this one here seems like you could do much more with this one than you can the other one. Oh. Uh, it definitely works a lot better, I think, than the other one. For one thing, we don't have to worry about the how far the boards are apart. We can sit here and pull pilots apart easy with this. So, which one's the better one? I'm going to say, hands down, this one's going to be the best one to make. And... 
for function or for easy build this is probably the easiest one to build too there's not much to it each one of these pry bars are just a plate of steel let me give you a little close-up of them each bar now if you're wanting to build this one here which I don't know if I would recommend this one because for one thing this gap is too tight and these are too wide to get between a thin you know if your boards are real close you're not going to be able to get that one down in there and there's a lot of welding in here you can see this is a piece of inch and a quarter pipe outside diameter I actually had to weld a piece of quarter inch on the outside of this and then weld my two plates on there so this one there's a good bit of work in it but it is the first one that I built you can see there's a piece here I put on here and that was to roll it on the board so it wouldn't cut the board up so this in here I'm gonna have to cut out I'm gonna to to say this is probably not the best one it's a lot of work but it does work good when it does get underneath there there's no I mean you got a plate on both sides and it does work good number two this in here was actually an easy build too uh, I wanted to go with one plate this time instead of two that way it didn't matter how far the boards were apart I could still uh, be able to take the boards off uh, by just laying this on the edge of the board and as you can see I put some grooves in here to keep it from sliding off the board so let's get to number three this is by far the easiest one to build and it will get in just about any gap uh, you want now I could have built it a little straighter it's a little bit crooked but it really doesn't matter it does work and it works good uh, I put a little taper on the edge of this and then this is just a piece of rebar uh, like I said you can watch the video I'll put the video up on top um, not a hard pry bar at all to build very cheap build nothing to it just scrap metal so by far I think this one is going to be the best one uh, without a doubt this is going to be the best pry bar now maybe in the future I'll come up with a better one than this but so far this is your best pry bar to build uh, don't take very much you can watch the video I just heated up this got a bend on this and then weld this on in the handle easy build Well, that's the end of this video. Like I said, by far, this tool here is the best one to pull these pallets apart. You know, I heard that some people were telling me they would actually send these to the scrapyard. You know, if you don't want to build with them, you can always take them and cut them in half and use them as firewood, too. I mean, they'll burn or wood. Um, so, let's try not to let all this go to the landfill and use it for something. Just get in there and find you some projects on YouTube and build something out of them. But the best project you want to do is this one right here. So watch the video on it. See how I build it. And uh, build yourself one. Not much to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.